Kings and Queen, happy Saturday. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are staying safe and well. Today, I'm going to make one of my hubby's favorite soup. It's chicken feet. And along with it, I'm going to add some chicken bok. Give it a little more flavor. Um, here I have pumpkin, um, yellow yam, quokka, turnip, Irish potato, okra, fresh corn. Um, I have my scallion, call it green onions. Some people do. In Jamaica, we call it scallion. Uh, my hot pepper, fresh garlic. I have some flour here for dumplings. I will be using the cock soup mix. We like to use that in our soup. I will be using some Maggi all purpose. I didn't have any salt here. I'm just gonna add salt to taste. I will be adding some black pepper and I like to add olive oil to my soup. Now guys, I already have a video up with hubby making chicken, this chicken foot soup, but this is my way and I will be adding measurements for you guys okay so stay tuned okay guys so i have about three quarts of water here three and a half quarts of water and to it i'm gonna add my garlic i love garlic guys this is about seven pegs of garlic and i'm just gonna allow that to come to a boil guys next i'm gonna wash my pumpkin off guys you want to make sure you wash all your vegetables before you peel them, okay? Because you don't know where they've been, who's touching them, and so forth. So I'm washing off my pumpkin. Now I'm going to remove the inside and remove the skin and cut it up. So the pumpkin is big, so whichever way you can handle it, whichever way it works for you, you go ahead. I like to just cut it in pieces. Skin is very hard. Okay. Then I'm gonna um, remove the inside. Guys, don't get. I don't throw this out. I save this to put in my garden. All year, I just around. I year round, I just put stuff in my garden. It helps the garden to stay very, you know, nourishing. Okay. And then I'm gonna peel the skin off. Like so. I even put the skin in my garden too. All right, stay tuned. Okay guys, so I've removed the seed and I've um, cut the skin off and I rinsed it off again. And I'm, basically you're just gonna cut it in little cubes, okay? Pumpkin is a must when you're making Jamaican style soup. This helps to give the um, soup color can't yeah, add no white soup. So basically you cut it up in little cubes, all right? And this helps to give the soup body too. Just like so. Okay guys, so I cut up the pumpkins in cubes, but I've saved this piece. I like to save a piece just to have a piece to eat along with the soup. I don't want everything to all, you know, mash out. So I'm saving this piece. So guys, my pot is bubbling. And I'm gonna add my pumpkin to the pot. And basically, I'm gonna let this cook until it's nice and tender. And I'm gonna let this boil until it's nice and tender. Okay, guys, now it's time to deal with the meat. So we have our chicken feet and we have a chicken buck. So you wanna make sure you have lime to wash your meat. Or if you don't have lime, you could use lemon or you can use vinegar. So, see, for those of you that don't know what this look like, this is what it look like. <laughs> My kids hate it. And basically, you gotta make sure you cut off the nails, okay? Always like to do it on this side, because on this side, you can cut it from right there. If you start over here, you probably just cut it right there, and then you still have this piece here. So start here. I want to make sure you get all the nails off. 
Okay. Once you cut the nails off, see? No nails. You want to make sure you look on the inside. Make sure there's nothing in there. The little brown stuff, that got to go. So just take a knife, hold it back like so, and cut it out. Okay? See? It's gone. So this is what it's supposed to look like. All right? On to the chicken buck. You want to make sure you clean out inside of here. All this stuff in here, get rid of it. Okay? So just take your knife and clean it out. You don't want to cook it with all this extra stuff in here. No, sir. So you clean up your meat really good and get rid of all that. Get rid of the excess fat. This is the chicken butty. <laughs> chicken butt. In Jamaica, if you talk a lot, they used to run joke and say, you must eat a lot of chicken butty while you chat so much. So, I used to like this when I was a kid, but not anymore. <laughs> so, in the garbage that goes. And then you just make sure you uh, remove the excess skin. Okay? So you just clean up the thing real good. Okay guys, so um, I've cleaned up the chicken feet. See? Cut out the black things. Cut off the toes. And I'm going to wash it with some fresh lime. So first you squeeze the lime juice into the water. And then you just use your lime to wash up your meat. Scrub it really good. Then I'm going to rinse it again a couple times. Okay? And just double check each feet to make sure you didn't leave any toenails on it. No one wants to eat any toenails. Put your, I'm going to put the chicken feet in, let them cook along with the pumpkin. My hubby loves these things like, you'll see, they're going to be so soft, falling off the bone. That's how he loves them. So, and then I'll put in the chicken bok later on. Stay tuned. Oh, and I'm going to add a little bit of uh, all-purpose seasoning in with the meat. Hey guys, I'm going to go in with a tablespoon of all-purpose seasoning. And give it a stir. And I'm just going to cover this and allow the meat to cook. And I'm going to move on to peeling the corn and the vegetables. Okay guys, it's been 20 minutes. So let's check out the pot. Everything is looking good. Let's check out the pumpkin. See guys, the pumpkin is nice and soft. And what I like to do is just take the spoon and crush it up. This helps, like I said, to not only give the soup color, it gives the soup some body. And the chicken foot is starting to cook. So I'm gonna put in the chicken box and I'm just going to cover it and let everything continue to cook okay guys so I'm going to make my dough to make my spinners slash dumpling here I have two cups of flour I usually add like to add cornmeal to my dumplings, but I don't have any. I'm going to go in with one teaspoon of salt. And I have approximately one cup of water here. So you just mix it all up to incorporate the salt. add 
your water little by little until it's formed in it though. Okay. So you just want to make sure you clean all the excess dough that's in your bowl. gonna cover this and let it rest until I'm ready to make my dumplings just like so now we're gonna peel our corn and you just want to make sure you get all of the corn hair off these things are so annoying I don't like it but Fresh is always better. So just make sure you get off all the hair and then I'm going to wash them. Okay guys, so I'm still over here trying to remove, make sure I remove all the hair. This looks pretty good. Now I'm just going to cut it. I like small pieces. Like so. Like so. So my corn is ready for the pot. Okay, let's check out the pot, guys. Oh my goodness. Look at this. It's looking good. The meat is getting nice and tender. It's still not how hubby likes it guys so I have to make sure it's really tender okay it's getting there but I'm gonna add my corn and from here on out if you need to add water make sure it's hot water so I already have my teapot ready for more water but I don't need to add any more just yet okay looking good hubby's gonna be really happy hey guys so now this is the coca I'm gonna wash it off first before I peel it so I'll just give it a nice little rinse get all the dirt off Just peel the thing like so. Peel it, just clean up the thing. See down in here, don't look so good. So just take your knife and get rid of that part, okay? And I'm going to rinse it off again. cut it like so so this one is really not that big so like three pieces right and that's it okay guys let's check out the pot oh my goodness look at this so let's give it a star and let's check out the foot see guys they're starting to look how hubby likes them so now I can proceed with adding all my other ingredients so I'm gonna add the coca give it a stir see the chicken buck looking good too Look at the soup, guys. It's not done yet, and it looks nice and rich. Look at that. Now I'm going to add, remember I save a couple pieces of pumpkin? So I'm going to add that to the pot, too. And let that continue to come to a boil. 
for like another 10 minutes before I start adding anything else. Looking good, guys. Guys, I'm going to add another quart of water. It's hot water. And give it a stir. Looking so yummy. I'm going to add a, a teaspoon of fermented berries, fermented seeds. This is the yellow yam. And the thing with this yam is you got to put it in the pot as soon as you peel it. Because then it will turn black. But if it turns black on you, don't worry. You can always put it in some um, lime water or some uh, vinegar and it will get the color back. So I'm going to peel it really quickly and put it into the pot. So I like to rinse. I'm going to rinse the dirt off. And it's so big, so I'm gonna cut it like this. I don't know if I need the whole thing. We'll see. So we'll just do it like so. We just rinse it off again. I'm going to use all of it. So into the pot with the yam. So all the yam is in, guys. And give it a stir. There go the feet. That's just how hubby likes them. And now I'm going to let this come to a boil for another five minutes. I'm going to add my dumpling. Oh guys, I'm going this is the turnip. I'm going to add the turnip. Okay. I'm also adding the Irish. So I really wash and clean up my scallion also I'm adding some more um, garlic I love garlic here I have my thyme I'm just gonna give it a ring and I'm gonna put all this in the pot but I'm just gonna take the knife and press down the garlic like so like so Oh my God, guys, the pot is bubbling nicely. Look at this, yummy. Okay, so I'm gonna go on with my time. And my garlic. Now for the, the scallion, I'm just doing like this. Give it a twist. Okay, guys. And I might need to add some more water. We'll see. We have boiling water on deck. Now I'm going to add my spinners. So I'm going to make a few spinners and 
few dumplings. For the spinners, you just break it in small pieces and you put it in your hand and you roll it up like this. So I'll do a few spinners and I'll do a few dumplings. So for the dumplings, just put it in the palm of your hand and you do like so. And then you just shape it up nice, see? Now guys, this is totally optional of how you can add this directly to your pot and make sure you stir it well, but I like to add mine to some hot water, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do. And basically, I'm just going to stir it really well before I add it to my pot. Okay, so this is two cups of hot water. So it's been 10 minutes since I add my dumpling. My stove was on medium heat. I'm turning it down to low. And I'm going to, guys, you see this? Look at the chicken feet. This is how hubby likes it, just like so. And I'm going to add my fox soup mix to it. Okay, let me just stir well. Look at all this yumminess. And guys, I was going to add some olive oil to it, but the soup has natural oil from the chicken box, so. I don't think I'm adding any olive oil to it. It doesn't need any extra oil. So just make sure you stir your pot real well so the soup mix doesn't sit on the bottom. And I'm going to add my hot pepper and let this come to a boil. Then I'm going to taste to see if it needs salt or a little bit of all-purpose seasoning. Okay guys, for the soup, you don't do too much powder seasoning. Okay, looking good. Last but not least guys, the okros. I wash them and I'm just gonna cut off each end like so. Gotta make sure you cut that off. And I'm gonna leave it whole. And I like to put this in at the end because hubby doesn't like them to soggy he likes a little crunch to it okay okay guys let's check it out oh my goodness look at this guy looking good and look see my pumpkin i still have a little piece of pumpkin here's another piece all right look at the feet that's how hubby likes it And I'm going to go in with a little salt and some black pepper. And stir well. And I'm just going to add the okra right on top. Goodness, guys. Tell me this don't look good. Now the kids will partake with the soup and the chicken box pieces, but no chicken feet. They're funny. You know, when I was growing up in Jamaica, I didn't have choices as to what I eat. is whatever they provide, that's what I have to eat. And if, mind you, there are things that I will not eat, so... That mean I would just have to 
stay hungry. But these babies here are so fortunate. All right, guys, I'm gonna let this simmer for five to 10 minutes, okay? Stay tuned. Oh boy, guys, let's check it out. Look at this. Yum, yum. So guys, I haven't tasted the pot yet at all. So now it's time to give it a taste. Let's get a spoon. Guys, it smells so good. I wish you guys could smell it and taste it. Oh my goodness. It's perfect, guys. Perfect. I hope hubby likes it. Here it is, guys. It's all completed. Looking nice and yummy. I will put everything in the description box. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you try this yummy recipe, please leave me a comment and let me know. Until next time, be kind to others. One love. All the yumminess for my garden to keep it nice and nutritious. So don't throw away your peels, okay? Put it in your garden if you have one. So guys, um, you can put carrots in here, but hubby forgot to um, buy the carrots, so that's optional. Just wanna make sure I get, I think that's Irish or turnip, but I think that's enough. Now I'm just gonna mix it up so you can get all that richness. Look at this guys, look how rich this soup looks. Look at that. And let's get a piece of um, cocoa. See the cocoa? All right, just gotta get some. Okay, let's put this in. Okay. 